Scientists from IBM Research and Stanford University are exploring a process called organocatalysis that could lead to new types of biodegradable, biocompatible plastics. This process could also lead to a new recycling method for common plastics. Well, there's a very ubiquitous plastic called PET, polyethylene terephthalate, and you no doubt are familiar with this because it uh, is the plastic that's used in drink bottles and other things. And uh, it's all about polymers. Polymers are molecules that uh, are so large that they have material properties. We can generate new materials uh, from these wonder catalysts that we have developed that are, for example, biodegradable or biocompatible for use in the body or in a landfill. They'll break down into uh, harmless uh, small molecules or we can use uh, the green chemistry catalyst to break down plastics that are in the environment. Disposable plastic bottles are among the most vexing environmental challenges. An estimated 13 billion are thrown away each year. And in the United States alone, more than 60 pounds of plastic packaging per person ends up in landfills. Many people put these in the recycling bin. Um, it's difficult to actually use this for a new bottle. So you cannot use this more than once for a bottle. You have to use it for some other secondary application. So what we have done at, I at IBM is develop a catalyst that can go into this material, break it down very, very rapidly in a reactor to building blocks, and then you can take these building blocks and very easily build them back to this kind of material. So it's what we call a chemical recycling process. This chemical recycling process and other advances in green polymer chemistry could open the door to a more sustainable, environmentally sound future.